All right, so I'm out here messing with my tarps today, and I figure, well, while I'm out here, I'll uh, show you what a, some changes I did to my Blackbird XLC uh, hammock. I've had this for uh, not quite a year, eight months maybe. Used it two or three times uh, out on the trail, and so I was going to show you uh, what I've got. I've got it set up here in my backyard on my hammock uh, stand that I built, uh, which will double for a swing set for the kids too, but it's also my hammock stand. So I swapped out to the XLC. I had the regular Blackbird, which had done fine for me, uh, but um, I'm six foot four, and so the extra length of the XLC gives me a little bit more comfortable sleep. So I swapped out, I actually sold a Blackbird to a guy I work with uh, who was wanting to get into hammocks and uh, he really likes it. He's a little shorter than me. So this works out, works out good for me. But uh, I've still got the straps, the original straps that come with it. But uh, I prefer these uh, cinch buckles that Dutch does. So I swapped out to those with a continuous loop of, uh, of Amsteel here. And then I changed out and put a continuous loop on the hammock here as well. And uh, these are some Dutch buckle, uh, Dutch beaners. And the reason I do this is if my webbing and everything gets wet in a, in a rain and stuff, I can disconnect it here and um, put the, store the suspension, the wet suspension separate from the hammock if I need to. So that gives me a an easy point to disconnect. Plus, uh, here in the yard, I, I use these carabiners to hang it, but actually when I'm on the trail, I just disconnect here and thread this through the loop. I've used the Dutch clips, uh, and they do seem to work fine. I don't have any trouble with them, but I'm a pretty heavy guy, and I've seen, it just seemed to look, get a little bit of wear, a little more wear than I'm comfortable with on the webbing. Uh, so, I'm, you know the buck the clips are fine, but I'm just afraid it wears on the on the straps more than I'd like. So I just don't carry the Dutch clips. I just thread it through the uh, loop here, and so this disconnection point makes that easy too. Uh, and it's one less thing to carry. I, I actually put the Dutch clips on my son's uh, hammock, and uh, he likes them fine. Um, the other thing I like about the straps, you know, I've tried changing the straps out for a tree strap and a whoopee slings and I've used those and they seem to work fine but again the straps are just easy and you see how close I can actually get it you know I can pull this up real close to the tree if I need to uh, you know I've had a couple times when trees trees were spaced pretty close together and I needed uh, actually a little less uh, suspension and so this works out well I mean I can get it down to you know this close to the tree if I need to uh, so and as far as weight savings I weighed the difference uh, between running tree straps and whoopee slings versus this this setup here with the, the regular straps it was something like two and a half ounces difference maybe maybe three ounces different you know one of my hammock I've got a double layer 1.7 blackbird here the, you know, the whole setup weighs uh, 2.8 pounds, roughly. So when I'm only trimming off three ounces, it's still <laughs> two and a half pounds. So it's just, you know, I'm not, I'm not going to worry about the weight savings. And this is, this works for me. I like it. So that's my XLC uh, hanging here in the backyard. 